Hi guys, Dane here, and welcome to my June 2021 book haul. Dane reads. I don't think I've done an intro to this. I might have done, who knows. Um, I've got these two books. I was given these for my birthday by my friend Amanda. So she gave me Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Don't need to tell you too much about this one because this one's a bit of a booktube darling. And she also gave me Andrew Cartmel, The Vinyl Detective, which I've heard about. It's actually the first in a series. They're both pretty chunky to be honest and I'm vaguely annoyed because I've been trying to um, cut down the size of my TBR. So I think I'm currently on 50 books unread. Uh, and I just got down to, that's 50 including these, so I just got down to like 49 and then she gave me these two. But hey ho, I'm hoping to get down to about 30, maybe even down to 20, we'll see. But these are what I got for you today. Hello, I have some books. So the first I have is the Terry Pratchett Diary, Terry Pratchett and Friends Aided and Abetted by the Discord Emporium. Uh, this is literally a diary but it has some quotes in it and stuff. But that's fine, it'll be quite uh, quick for me to read through it. It's got some essays and stuff by people too, so you know there is reading content in it, like there's an essay, by little mini essay by Stephen Baxter. So I'm looking forward to that. I have The Vampire Vanishes by Willis Hall. So I used to love these books when I was a kid and I don't know if I ever read this one. This is about a vegetarian vampire called Count Alucard. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I got that, I got that. I got all of these basically I got because I know they'll be nice and quick reads so that I can satisfy my criteria for buying new books without giving myself loads that's gonna add to my uh, TBR, you know? I mean, obviously it will add to my TBR, but each of these I can read in a day, so I can bring it back down again. Uh, I'm currently mainly reading through, I've got two series on the go, I'm reading Dune and the Foundation series. Um, and basically I'm reading those because I have some of the books already, so I can't actually get to zero because I'm missing some of the books in the series. So I need to read at least as far along into the series for the books that I've got, you know? Uh, and I also got Five Lose Dad in the Garden Centre by Ina Blyton. So this is one of the famous five books for adults. So very exciting. I look forward to it. As Obi-Wan Kenobi said to R2-D2, Hello there. I have some um, books to show you. Uh, I'll start with this slot. Box put me out of focus. It's in a box. Um, I got a job lot of Isaac Asimov. So I think I spent £30 on this for 30 Asimov books. Knowing that I have read about 25 of them, um, because basically I figure I only need to sell each of them for like a pound more than they cost me to post on eBay, and I've made a profit. And um, you know, Asimov is one of those authors I want to read everything that he's written. So these are all the ones that I've either, I've either read these or I already own them. So we have Isaac Asimov, Nemesis, The Early Asimov, Volume One. The Early Asimov Volume 3, Earth is Room Enough, The Martian Way, The Rings of Saturn, a lucky star book, Foundation and Empire, The Caves of Steel, Asimov's Mysteries, Foundation, Pebble in the Sky, The Stars Like Dust, There's more! There's more! Alright, what else we got here? Um, the Currents of Space. Lucky Star and the Oceans of Venus. He says in his prologue, Venus, we now know, definitely never had oceans. The End of Eternity. The Naked Sun. Fantastic Voyage 2, Destination Brain. Second Foundation, The Complete Robot, A Whiff of Death, great little uh, murder mystery, Foundation and Earth, and Foundation's Edge. So those are all those. Okay, then these are the ones that um, were on my to be read list. So these are all the ones that came as part of that box set that I haven't read yet. So you have Through a Glass Clearly, The Heavenly Host. The Moons of Jupiter, another Lucky Star book, and I really enjoy the Lucky Star books. Nine Tomorrows, uh, Banquet of the Black Widowers, and then this as well, which is uh, Isaac Asimov, Asimov's Mirage by Mark W. Tideman. So this kind of, I guess, is like, you know when you get a, an author dies and then the, the, um, the estate like signs off somebody to create like a official sequels and stuff like that. So that, that'd be interesting. 
Uh, then I got this in the post, which is Distraction Pieces by Scroobius Pip, with a foreword by Ramesh Ranganathan. Uh, basically, Scroobius Pip is a musician slash poet, and he has a, a podcast. So this is like the best of the podcasts in some ways. All right, and I also paid a visit to, there's the big arts market at Wickham Arts Centre, uh, which is, you know, I work at the arts centre, but um, as part of that, they have a bunch of local artists in, so I bought some stuff there to support them, so I bought Hi Wickham and it's People Through My Eyes, a scrapbook of growing up in Wickham by Mark Page. So Mark Page is a local photographer, and these are all like photos of Hi Wickham, it's people. It's basically like a photo book. There are some written bits in it as well. Really enjoying this so far, actually. It's giving me a really good sense of like the town. Uh, he's well known for doing like alternative photography as well. He actually won the Erotic Photographer of the Year, uh, which is all very cool. And he signed it as well to Dane Cheers, mate, Mark Page. Um, so I'm currently reading that right now. And I also got Psycho Gran issue one, Comic Capers Cavalcade. So Psycho Gran is literally as it sounds, it's a Psycho Gran. Uh, and this is like a comic. Uh, by a local comic maker. I actually got uh, part two as well, and this is signed. It says, let's have a look. To Dane, H and K. I can't even read that. P, Psychogran. Okay, hugs and kisses, yeah. And then he signed it. Uh, so very cool, and uh, I got number two as well, but I got that signed to my friend Amanda, so we're gonna sort of swap it around. Um, I'm gonna, you know, I've got one, he, she's got two. Uh, but then we're going to swap with each other, so that's where we're at. Hello, uh, it is time to do a hauly who. I have some books to show you. These come from a variety of different sources, so we'll start with this one here. This is the Buddy Holly story, uh, and this is published by World Records and EMI as well. This actually came as part of a vinyl box set, um, and yeah, because it's a little book, I'm going to count it as a little book and I'm going to give it a read and learn about Buddy Holly, although I already know quite a bit about Buddy Holly. Um, and then these all came from Regina of Regina's Bookish Library, so I won a competition she was running and I won Creeps issue 31. Don't know what the green screen will have done to that. Weird Mask number 14 and this is a zine and it's very cool because it's got some matte wall in it as well. I think he actually must run it. I'm not too sure. Uh, who else has it got? Regina's in it. Steve Donahue's in it as well. So yeah, some cool stuff. Uh, and then Regina sent me her book, Black Magic by R. St. Clair. And then Stage Fright by Garrett Boatman. So a nice little indie horror collection here. So I'm looking forward to getting stuck in. All right, so it is the end of another month. It's actually July. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.